All right, guys, welcome back. And I've got a great video for you guys today. Today, what I'm gonna talk about is the five ways that you are self-sabotaging yourself in the bedroom, right? We've all got different levels of problems, but what we don't need is to make them any tougher than they already need to be. And that's where self-sabotage comes into play. You're making life, you're making your sexual life harder than it needs to be. And here's five ways you're doing it. Number one, you don't practice like you play. Instead, you're being a weekend warrior. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a professional athlete, you are practicing on the playing field every week getting ready for the big game. You're not just showing up to the game all willy-nilly and expecting that you're gonna throw touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. So if you are just showing up on your dates, if you're showing up to your wife, you haven't put in any practice, you haven't been working on your penis exercises, you haven't been doing any sort of conscious masturbation, you haven't been doing anything to fix your neurology, how do you think you're gonna perform? I'm willing to bet pretty fucking bad, right? And it doesn't need to be that way. You just have to put in the time and effort beforehand. So that's number one. Number two is that you expect the girl to have skills. I can't tell you how many guys suffer from this problem. You go into the interaction expecting that the girl has some magical skills, and if she doesn't, now you're struggling to get a hard on. Newsflash, you're gonna find girls out there that are the most erotically skilled, amazing women you've ever, ever come across, and you're gonna come across dead fish. But here's the thing, in either scenario, you need to be able to get a hard on. And this is where we use the principle of the physically created hard on. You need backup. You need to be able to go into the interaction confident that, you know what? I don't care if she's got any fucking skills. I can get my shit going, I can get it hard on my own, and I know I'm gonna have a good night. So that's number two. Number three, you are drinking or using other substances to relax. Well guys, they call it whiskey dick for a reason, right? If you're already struggling in the bedroom, Drinking a lot of alcohol or using other substances is not going to be helping you. Let's look at it from an athletic perspective. If you are an NBA basketball player, you're an NHL hockey player, they're not getting wasted and blasted the day of the game. What are they doing? They're getting their sleep. They're making sure they're having good food. They're making sure they're having a good mental mindset that day but they're certainly not going out and getting blasted right before a game, right? Save that stuff for the weekends when there's no girls and you're just partying with your boys. But it certainly is not gonna help you in the bedroom. And number four, instead of focusing on her and the task at hand, you instead are focusing on your thoughts. You can't be running around in your head. That is not productive. Your thoughts create your reality. So if you're up in your thoughts thinking, oh geez, am I gonna get a hard on? I hope I get a hard on. I hope she likes me. How do you think that's gonna come out in Newtonian reality? It's gonna come out bad. You need to be focused 100% on her, on what she's feeling, and on the task at hand. By focusing 100%, you're not gonna be thinking. And number five, lastly, 
You are self-sabotaging yourself because you aren't starting a positive emotional feedback loop in your mind. Now, what do I mean by positive emotional feedback loop? Well, much like you can have those negative Nancy thoughts of, geez, I hope I get a heart on, I hope she likes me, we can produce a positive feedback loop as well. And we do that by achieving goals. We do that by getting a hint of blood into the dick, right? Because then suddenly, what do you feel? Oh, I got some blood there. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. There's that positive loop. It's gonna be a good day. What happens? More blood flow. Oh, man, it's a great day. More blood flow. Oh, wow, I'm the king. More blood flow. Oh, I can fuck every, anything that walks. Ah, right? That's what I'm talking about. That is that positive emotional loop. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you liked this video. And remember, my new book, Unleash Your Sexual Superpowers, is out now on Amazon. Go get a copy, read it, give it to your friends, give it to your friends of friends, give it to your wife, give it to everybody. And if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to www.ericeverhard.com. There you can find all my offers and just ping me, send me an email, and we'll get you started on the path. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And remember, greatness is just a moment away.